First of all, I'd like to thank Dushanka, especially, and your helpers, but you especially for um, your role in getting me here. And through you, the Australian Embassy, <laughs> I can't imagine that you, <laughs> you did all the things that you did to get me here. So thank you very much, and congratulations on this wonderful conference. Your heart beats fast, you start to sweat, you have this fear that you'll forget you start to pant, your headache pounds, and then you jump at every sound. Your stomach is queasy and your skin gets a rash. You might as well face it, you're allergic to math. I'll tell the cure without delay. First come to class, don't miss a day. Go to the lab and questions asked, take good class notes, then learn the fact. You must believe in this logical path, and you might just find that you're addicted to math. In 1986, there was uh, the International Congress of Mathematicians was held in Berkeley in California, and the American, our sister American organization, uh, was organizing a panel discussion about issues of women and they invited several women from Europe to speak at this. And I was, for some reason, invited also to go to a committee meeting of the American Association for Women in Mathematics. And I was so impressed. We were in a room with a big table and maybe 15, 20 women all very seriously discussing, but at the same time friendly. It was such an atmosphere. And then we sp spoke at this uh, panel discussion and I said, most of us were actually members of the Association for Women in Mathematics. And I said, we should have such an organization in Europe. I came here to this meeting as a representative uh, of the Association for Women in Mathematics, which is a US-based organization. Uh, in some ways, it's a counterpart to EWM, and I was very interested, uh, once I got here, in comparing how AWM operates with how EWM operates. Uh, so besides the fact that AWM is a lot older, they're very different organizations uh, with very different ways of operating. Uh, similar missions. Uh, AWM's mission uh, is like that of EWM to encourage girls and women to study mathematics and one thing that I think is interesting is how two organizations with the same objectives can operate in very different ways and carry out their mission in very different ways. I think meetings are very useful поскольку они помогают женщинам-математикам стать более активными. Они дают заряд энергии, они повышают самооценку женщин-математиков. Для молодых участниц, которые только начинают свой путь в науке, это хорошая школа, и девушки могут убедиться, что это реально для женщины добиться больших успехов в математике, не отказываясь при этом от того, чтобы иметь семью и детей. And so there were a group of five of us, and we agreed, yeah, let's try to do this. And uh, it was kind of a miracle, but the idea worked. So gradually we, we set up a formal legal structure and we made a proper organization and we've continued to grow and develop. We have meetings every two years, and this is the 14th such meetings. So that's not quite 28 years, but getting close. Getting the attention of the math community to AWM uh, was difficult. 
Uh, now that's happened. I mean, AWM is regarded as a significant mathematical society in the U.S. It gets recognition. It gets recognition internationally. Uh, for example, it's a member of ISEAM, the uh, Association for an Industrial and Applied Mathematics Interna an International Association. And uh, nobody, nobody questions its legitimacy anymore. Uh, and similarly, nobody questions the legitimacy of, of EWM. Um, you know, maybe I could say uh, AWM fought that battle first and that's made it easier for everybody else. Well, if, if AWM had anything to do with making it easier for EWM, I, I'm glad. Um, but I, I really salute the spirit of optimism. I think it's very nice. And I hope it's not just youthful enthusiasm that will peter out after a, another 15 years. <laughs>
uh, I, I suppose that uh, EWM might be able to get some kind of EU funding for some kinds of activities, but I, I don't know how difficult that is. Uh, I 